Auto Detailing by me is the leader in auto detailing in Southern West Virginia. We offer several exterior as well as interior detailing services, including engine shampooing, convertible top cleaning, interior fabric protection, and long-term paint sealing. There are detailing packages to choose from to fit any budget. We also offer custom decaling and over 200 colored bed liners to choose from. See why Auto Detailing by Me is Southern West Virginia's leader in auto detailing. Visit us on the web at autodetailingbyme.com or call us at 304-461-0049. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the teams competing in tonight's Ward Wilson Memorial Tag Team Tournament, Sean, Cr Sean Cruz and, uh, and the Cuban Assassin. Um, how about if I just let you guys hold the microphone? Let me tell you something, Jonathan Stiles. I said it before. Sean Cruz and myself. Hey, Tom Cruise, you ain't got nothing on this Cruise. This Cruise is the real man. He's the real superstar. He's the man that gets all the ladies. And tonight, after we win this tournament, we're going to be meeting a lot of beautiful senoritas after the show tonight. What do you say about that? The Shoot. assassin wanted a gunslinger, and he got one. Viva la Cuba! And viva Sean Cruz. <laughs> this has to be one of the top seed tag teams for the Ward Wilson Tag Team Memorial Tournament tonight. Drake Tungsten and Frank the Tank Parker. Frank, what does it mean for you to be here tonight? You know, tonight's a very special night for me as, long, as well as a lot of the other guys. Ward Wilson's a very special guy, holds a very special play to, place in all of our hearts. But tonight, when we step through the ring, it's about winning. It's always about winning. So, Ward Wilson, I love you, brother. But everybody else here tonight, watch out. Me and Drake Tungsten's here for one reason and one reason only, to win. I tell you, I tell you what, gentlemen, we got another great semifinal match here. Drake Tungsten teaming up with Frank the Tank Parker taking on the Cuban Assassin and Sean Cruz. Well, I tell you what, it was, the Batten Twins had a lot of back when uh, Frank Parker was part of the Death and Destruction. I'm sure you guys remember that tag team, because I sure do. I'm telling you what, we had a lot of great matches with those guys. It was, I, I mean, we, we, we didn't really like each other, but we respected each other in the ring. And, but I'm really looking forward to see uh, I'd like to see Frank the Tank start uh, beating on the Cuban assassin. My bad. That's all right. That's all right. You're entitled to your opinion. And Frank the Tank, one half of the former NWA National Tag Team Champions when he was with that team of Death and Destruction. Right. Whole lot of wrestling history in the ring right now. These yeah, guys there have is. been around. Absolutely. Cuban assassin, a second generation star himself. His father making a name for himself in the great white north. And he is absolutely all about the heritage of the sport. He's very proud of it. And whatever you want to say about his antics, I'm sure maybe Bart in particular, maybe not such a big fan of them. He's very, very proud of the sport of wrestling. Very well, proud to be a part of it. And I'll, I'll also say this to him too. He's very proud. He's very proud that he's a Cuban. And... As an American, I'm proud to be an American. Well, everyone but, should be proud of where they're from. Exactly. And, you know, I give credit where credit is due. Uh, but he is a tough customer. And speaking of tough customers, Frank Parker has just been tagged in while Sean Cruz is trying to get the little birds to go away from spinning around his head now. Boy, he is a big old redneck tank of tough as they come. Absolutely, and Frank Parker is 100% business when he steps inside that squared circle. Well, I can testify to that. Collar and elbow tie-up. Yep. Parker's got the side headlock side cinched headlock in. Air. That's, I guarantee he's going to cinch it, too. Now, what does cinching do when you're applying the side headlock like that, Bart? Well, I mean, you know, basically you're – you're with the ear, so it kind of cuts off the blood flow a little bit of the ear. But it just, it's, you know, if you control the head, you control the body. Does that make sense? At least that's what, that's what we found out. Sean Cruz getting rocked. He's in the corner now. He knows he's in trouble with Frank Parker. 
And now he's doing what he does as well as anyone else in there. He is shifting the referee's focus. Yep. And that's going to slow things down. That's going to give him a moment to regroup him himself. Psychologically, he's off his game, so he's going to change it. Maybe not quite the way that he wants, as you see Sean's on the outside right now. But, you know, right now he's not getting hit either. You can't be pinned when you're outside taking a breather. No, but you definitely got to watch that 10 count, Steve. I mean, how embarrassing would it be to not advance due to a count out? Well, John, I know you don't think very much of Sean, but I'm pretty sure he can count to 10 and roll back in the ring. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I might have to question you on that. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Big words from the, uh, the retired gentleman. Uh, yeah, buddy. Sean Cruz now. Yep. Well, yep, reverse. Power. Yep. Big time back body True. drop. Tell you and what, the look that on was Cruz's a, a, face says it all. Yeah, that was a great backdrop there. Take him, please. I hear the begging of Sean Cruz. That brings joy, an early Christmas joy to me. You're hearing the manners of Sean Cruz. He said, please. <laughs> Something your wife would probably like to hear every now and then, John. Oh, come on, Steve. I tell you what, there's a couple of wise guys in the ring right now, and I say it with respect. Absolutely. And Frank Parker going back to yep, that Yeah, back same, to that headlock. Back to that headlock, cinching it in. Human assassin trying yep. to push him off. Yeah. Successful, but wow, that shoulder tackle might have knocked Cuban in the next week, but instead it got him in the wrong corner. Trying and, to match uh, power with Frank well, Parker is not the best strategy. Uh, no, and I'd say one thing about Cuban. Uh, he knows when it's time to get out of the ring. And Cuban trying to regroup out there with Sean Cruz. Patrick Nicholas trying to get Frank Parker over to that neutral corner to start the count. Tay Frank just standing there in the corner saying, come on, Cuban, get in the ring. I got some more uh, affliction to put on you. Uh, he definitely has more where that came from. Well, Cuban, he's a time and patience kind of guy. There's a lot of things that some guys can do in that ring a lot better than him, but he's always aware of that. One thing he's better at than Five just about anyone is waiting for his moment. Five he finds minutes. his moment, he can change it in a heartbeat. That's exactly what I was going to say. The thing that you had to remember about uh, when you're in the ring with Cuban is, you know, you, you, just, you just really never know when he's going to try to Pull out that uh, whatever it may be, but you know when he gets that determination to him that you know my God, I'm going to win this match, and then it's by whatever means available. And uh, trust me, that's uh, Cuban comes in, nice double team there, you know, double axe handle smash on the arm of Tungsten. It's give and take, but I mean, eventually he likes being the one that's doing the taking and. Not being the one that's doing the taking, but being the one that's doing the giving, and trust me, he gives out harshly. Tungsten, nice reversal into the hammer Very lock. Nice. Yep. Cuban looking for the right position. There's yep. the elbow. Found his moment. Yep. Cuban, very patient man in the ring, sends Tungsten across. Elbow Great back there, elbow. Coming off the, and this well, time, why Tungsten. Why would you do that? Why would you intimidate Frank the Tank Parker? Why would Frank so Parker come his in the ring? Parker could do this. <laughs> I mean, really. I forgot but, who I was talking yeah, yeah. about there for that's, a moment. That's okay, brother. That's okay. Are you going to ask why she's doing that? I think the answer is obvious. She would like very much for Cuban and for Mr. Cruz to walk away with the W. Move to the and move to the finals, against, exactly. Against the Lord of Chaos. And I gotta tell you, it's gonna be real it's gonna be real interesting to see which team advances here. Because I think when I think about who could be facing the Lords of Chaos, we could have two very different main events here this evening. Cuban. Well, it's gonna be an interesting, you know, I don't know who's gonna win this match. But it's going to be an interesting, it's going to be an interesting confrontation between whatever, whether, which team it is, and, and I'm looking this, forward to it. Blind tag and Nicholas didn't see it. So yep, exactly. wonderful strategy by Cruz. He saw what was getting ready to happen. He stopped it. Yep. Sometimes you can't cut the ring off the way you want to, but if you cut off the partner, if you cut off the referee's line of vision, you own it. 
Absolutely. And Stephen, you and I have seen Sean team with his brother Robbie on many occasions. So Sean has that great mental background in tag team wrestling. Well, world of experience behind Sean Cruz. World of experience for all men in the ring. Sean Cruz, though, well, very skilled tag team competitor, as is Frank Parker. Frank oh, Parker, yeah, I was, was going to say, uh, having been in the ring with, you know, and, and competed against Frank, he's only going to take that for so. He's only going to take that for so long, and eventually, when that referee goes over there and tries to get him back out of the ring, he ain't going. Well, maybe that's the strategy of Cuban and Cruz. Frank can only take so much for so long. He's got that red neck on him. He's yeah, got buddy. that real, real impatient streak when he feels someone's taking advantage of him. Why not exploit it? It's worked out well so far. Frank keeps waiting to come in. He keeps waiting to help his hey. partner. But every time, he can't get that tag legally. Hey, I, I, can, I can testify to this too. We win by whatever means available. Well, Tungsten ducked out of the way of that clothesline, but Aceveda just walks over there and just chokes the life out of him. He ducked it, but it didn't really pay off for him. Well, you know, one thing about that is it wears the it wears your opponent out if you sit there and choke him with the rope or only so that, much he can take. You said it right. And he's trying, and he's doing. Uh, Cuban's doing a great job of making sure the referee's, you know, attention in on. Isn't on the punishment that's going on outside the ring. It's on trying to get Frank out of the ring. And, you know, it's... Tungsten has been in there hey, for a while it, now. Yeah, he's... I, he needs a tag. Absolutely. Frank getting really riled up on the outside as I see it. Not doing his partner any favors, though. No, he's not. No, he's not. Every time he puts Patrick Nicholas out of position, he puts Drake Tungsten in harm's way. Yeah. Absolutely. Is Cuban going up top? That we could be seeing the Cuban Missile Crisis. I haven't seen that drop kick off the top rope since the actual Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh, really? Oh. Well, he flew through the air with the greatest of ease, and he landed every bit as hard as he flew through the air. Ten minutes has elapsed in the match. Ten minutes remaining. And he wasn't expecting that landing. Well, Tungsten, he's got a rare opportunity now yep. that's been avoided him so far in yep. this contest. I mean, he's got to he's got to get over and get that tag to Frank. He's got to do that. And Cuban, real close to that tag. Cruz is in. Tungsten needs to get. He's got it. There he goes. There uh, go. It's not going to be pretty, no, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to let you go know right now it ain't going to be pretty. And a very fresh, very dangerous Frank Parker taking out. Probably a good 10 minutes of frustration on Cuban and Sean Cruz left in the ring with a very angry man who's had a lot of time to wait for some vengeance. But you see Frank Parker, uh -oh. eyes on Cuban. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Cruz in trouble. Uh -oh, this looks like this might be. Oh. And a great power move by the big man. Referee jumps over to. I just had a feeling that was going to be it. The winners of this match, Frank the Tank Parker and Drake Tungsten. And Frank Parker and Tungsten, good Lord, they fought every inch of that match for this. Every single Wait woman in that room. Oh! the Chaos doing? Well, the Lords of Chaos are doing uh, what they do I best. I will say this, uh, apparently they didn't like what they saw there, so they're going to try to be they're going to try and beat their opponents down and get an advantage. You know, I'm going to have to disagree with you. I think they loved what they saw because what they saw was an opportunity to take their opponents down another peg before that final round match. <laughs> Parker, I can't argue that. Greg Parker with the axe handle. Damian Wayne up and over. But Got to see the power of Frank Parker there. Well, Frank Parker doing very well to keep his partner from absorbing any more damage, but all the abuse he already suffered in that contest how much more did the Lords of Chaos do to him? That's my question mark going into the final round. 